I, I want to <laughs> say this, but don't take it the wrong way. But for whatever reason, when he says, my mother and my father, it, it kind of reminds me of a New York Jew. <laughs> but he, like he's Jewish. It's like, my mother and my father would never stand for this. You hear me? Now, I'm going to go get some bagels and some locks. You stay here. And I'll be right back, okay? We're going to talk this over. We're going to have a good time. You're going to get past this. Oh, it, it, it just so sounds... amazingly Jewish. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Tony Chase is insane. Like, yes. legitimately. Um, there's a couple different videos. Nick Nobody recently did a video. Uh, Smokey's a little bit older. Kiwi's done a video on him. Um, oh, fuck. There's a couple. There's, like, a bunch of different videos. But I like Smokey's vibe. I like how he does stuff. And, uh, his content's pretty quickly moves along. And he makes some pretty good jokes. So, I went with Smokey's version. But let me introduce you guys <laughs> to Tony Chu. Hey guys, doing this is important in reverence to the fucking satellite man hitting me in the mouth. So see the shower head? Fucking satellite man hitting me in the face all the fucking time. The satellite man needs to get the death penalty. I think anybody who spent even a small period of time on the internet throughout their lives has run into a few people who just weren't all there. Whether it was on Twitter, whether it was on Facebook, doesn't really matter where it is. You've everyone's kind of seen these type of people, these people who just catch your attention for one reason or the other, and you can't look away. And the guy we're going to be talking about today is definitely one of those people. Because this is a name that I've been recommended to look at many times, whether it be in live streams or in the comments on videos. And finally, when I sat down to take a look at this guy, I genuinely couldn't look away. Well, that's not <laughs> entirely true, because there are a few times I had to look away when Tony shows his teeth, but that's not his fault. You'll come to find out soon that's entirely the fault of the satellite man. But it gets us into talking about who Tony is and, uh, and what his daily problems are. Now, Tony, on his channel, you can find about like 4,000 plus videos of him just telling the government what's what. Because the government's really treated this man pretty hard. By the way, read his channel title. <laughs> and it's this way to this day. Like, to this minute, I could go there and that is exactly how his channel is titled. Like, how are you doing, friendly people? I am not gay, not never. <laughs> like, he is so straight, you need to know it. Like, it's even in the at. <laughs> and you know what's even funnier? Is like, look how many videos he has. Yeah, 4,100. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this guy, like, pumps out the content. <laughs> Terribly, as you'll come to find. Tony is someone who was born with immense wealth. His father was Walt Disney. Uh, I can't remember who his mother was, but she was a pretty big name too. But I don't want to spoil everything about Tony here off the jump, you know? You gotta wait a little bit longer to hear about how Tony has like a 30 plus inch penis and how he also, uh, <laughs> yeah, that one caught your attention, didn't it? A schlong, may I add, that people are constantly trying to steal from him, but he can't give away none of it, not never. As you, Once again, as you'll come to hear soon. But Tony, uh, Tony's got a lot going on. Tony has a whole lot going on. Just going down his videos, you can find him yelling at most politicians, whether they be from this country or not. A lot of um, a lot of anger goes into people who aren't his race doing stuff against him too. I don't really know his fascination with that, but Tony, uh, Tony's just all over the place. And today we're gonna look at this guy. Now I do have to say I feel like my knowledge on Tony is pretty barren compared to some people. I thought you who said this was the good him. version. Yeah, it's about Tony four thousand. Not an exact duplicate. <laughs> See, that's what I was see that's what I was saying, but I guess Patrick has a little bit of anti hits bias. <laughs> I was gonna say I have no bias at all against this guy. He can live his life. <laughs> it's the other hits that it's the other Tony that you hope gets hit by a bus. Gently, just in the face one time. <laughs> Gently in the yeah. face. With all eight with all, all the wheels though. <laughs> all the wheels, yes. <laughs> videos up as previously mentioned i only had time to watch about 500 of them but 
he's um you know if i get anything wrong here please correct me if anyone knows more about tony um a lot of the stuff you're gonna hear is just the things tony says in his videos which we can probably tell aren't exactly the truth you know i, I don't i don't know but i think a lot of this stuff may just be like delusions but who knows maybe tony's telling the whole truth and um and secondly i do want to say before we get into this we cover a lot of scumbags on this channel you know your chris chans of the world your daniel larson's but with this video, I just wanted to show that to be to have a video made on you on this channel, what you don't Bowser? have to be an asshole. All you have to be is crazy. So let's take a look and see what Tony's up to. As I said, we're just going to randomly pick up some videos here so you guys can see a day in the life of the government's least favorite person, Tony Chase. <laughs> in reference to any political family that trespassed into my mother or father's life must be on public record. In reference to every goddamn court case my parents had against anybody in government and any fucking race or ethnicity that they are, whoever the fucking people are. They were just dry heaving on my cat again. They just choked my cat. You'll hear a lot of Tony talking about how he was kidnapped from his parents' mansions and now he's being, I guess, he's being trapped and forced to stay in Indiana. Uh, he's also blaming the satellite man, the man who's been tormenting what? him for all these years from up in <laughs> Peak your interest, did I? <laughs> uh, being trapped in Indiana, I can kind of relate, but <laughs> but like not how... like this. I like how like he thinks the satellite man is like using a satellite to choke his cat. In reality, he just probably has a hairball. <laughs> it's like, like, like a bit from Family Guy. It's like, oh, and would you like a, a satellite with a laser beam to scratch your ass from outer space? Did he have those? <laughs> oh my god! And the satellites for choking his cat. Any problem that Tony has with his health or his cat's health, he automatically attributes to the government or the satellite man or any person in government. You'll see that a lot throughout the course of this video. Wait, is Max Headroom terrorizing him? <laughs> no, but that would have been a great spinoff. <laughs> you said you're a concerned person? Like you thought I was a fucking common citizen? You motherfuckers. Is that what you fucking think? You think you can get into my life and terrorize my life? You government motherfuckers better step up in court. I need every fucking reason for why any of you goddamn government motherfuckers trespassed into my life and kidnapped me from my mother and father's mansions. You better understand what that rule of protocol fucking means. That means if a president or a governor or a mayor or a cop or anybody calls me a common citizen they must get prosecuted and they must get put on trial i ain't fucking with you man what the fuck I'm is not fucking with you or your goddamn <laughs> bullshit you better stay out of my mouth you better quit moving my tongue with your fucking satellite you better quit hitting <laughs> me in the fucking teeth and you better show up in court with all your public fucking concerns of every fucking thing any of you fucking liars ever fucking said about you slandering my character, you stealing my fucking money, and your government agents trying to steal my identity. You better show up in court, motherfucker. Bring all your top fucking CIA, FBI fucking f into the fucking courtroom, you dirty <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he just literally dropped it there, right? Yeah. <laughs> you in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he doesn't hold back. <laughs> you better show up, you motherfucker! One of the funniest things about Tony is he believes that any of these government people, presidents, doesn't matter who it is, or just any common person on the street, if they label him a common person because he comes from royal, like a royal bloodline, well, those people get put on trial, they get prosecuted, and they get the death penalty. Simple as that. It's, it's just that simple. If you go against Tony basically in any way, like you get put on trial and you have the death penalty. But sadly, this hasn't happened to anybody yet because Tony, uh, I guess the government's just not, just not adhering by sadly. this royal decree. 
he really just goes on and, <laughs> and rambles about so much that it's very hard to keep track of and try to like explain to you guys. So I'm going to do my best here, but as you can see, I'll let Tony do most of the talking in this video. Um, but these government motherfuckers, they really, they really got to stop getting involved in Tony's shit, you know? He's trying to get back to where he was. He's trying to get back into his mother and father's mansions and live the good life like he always has been before the government kidnapped him. He's doing this is very important. That goddamn sad satellite man still hitting me in the teeth and they have communicated <laughs> as George Bush Bill Clinton Barack Obama Donald Trump and some other people that have been damaging my teeth it is an order of the Treasury and factual history that I'm one of the highest ranking people of the Treasury my parents and grandparents had the most money in the Treasury if any of those <laughs> presidents or ex-presidents have damaged or tried to murder me. They must be charged for the murder of my mother and my father. They are people and family members of the CIA. These ex-presidents. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait I'm a minute. fucking warning you, you Hold better on. leave my teeth alone. <laughs> I, I, I want to say this, but don't take it the wrong way. But for whatever reason, when he says, my mother and my father, it, it kind of reminds me of a New York Jew. <laughs> Like, like he's Jewish. It's like my mother and my father would never stand for this. You hear me? <laughs> now I'm gonna go get some bagels and some locks. You stay here. And I'll be right back. Okay? We're gonna talk this over. We're gonna have a good time. You're gonna get past this. <laughs> no, it, it, it just so sounds... amazingly Jewish. <laughs> So <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what it reminds me of. It's like a stereotypical New York Jew. God, I feel like I need to go out and buy my own dreidel now. <laughs> it's Hanukkah, honey. Hanukkah. You, when you say it, you don't say it like you're some white trash. You're not like those Italians. Come on. Patrick, do you know where the tunnels are? <laughs> <laughs> Which one, the Holland or the Newark? Either or, because it sounds like you have some like secret Jew gold somewhere. <laughs> it's like when he said that, it's like clicked into my head. Wait, is he Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> I've just grown up around so many of them. <laughs> no, he's just really good at it. I'm really gonna be fucking like floored. Is like this guy who sounds like a stereotypical New York Jew is somehow like also a Nazi. <laughs> you know, sometimes life takes us in crazy directions. <laughs> <laughs> Jim said the quiet part out loud. <laughs> Man, because if it comes down to where politicians get charged for treason and they are asked to be put on trial for the death penalty based on the court laws of America and their violations court of conspiracies laws. and violations of human anatomy and my royal family history. I'm fucking warning you, you ex-presidents. Let's go to court, man. Let's see if you violated my life <laughs> when you were in office. I'm going to tell you, you sick motherfucker. Look at all the random you shit don't outrank me <laughs> yeah. just because you are a president <laughs> or any other reason. You have never outranked me in America, and you will never. I am fucking warning you. And I'm warning your goddamn secret service. If you have damaged my teeth, I'm going to have a legal right to put you to death based on the court <laughs> laws of your sentence where you would get prosecuted for the fucking death penalty. I am fucking warning you. If anybody is covering up any of these ex-presidents hurting me and terrorizing me, any person covering it up can get prosecuted. Fuck you.
Yeah, Tony has to make it known to all these former presidents that he outranks all of them. And that's uh, that's another <laughs> constant you'll see in Tony's videos. As we previously mentioned that he's royalty, he outranks everybody, you know? He's basically the tippy top of this country. You know, you can't get higher than Tony Chase. Not even if you're president, doesn't matter who you are. But, um, <laughs> I gotta say, it's not just the presidents in this country that he's mad about, because he's got a big problem with Justin Trudeau over in Canada. He doesn't even seem to know his name, but uh, he's got a big, big issue and a bone to pick with the Canadian president as well. What are you guys doing? This is very important. I guess the Canadian president's one of the fucking <laughs> that's tried to murder me, and he's choking my cat right now or something. You better step into court, <laughs> Canadian president! You fucking Canadian drug addict! <laughs> I just love how he's like mildly concerned for the cat, but trying to be angry right here. <laughs> he's trying to Stand joke my cat right now. <laughs> Turn the laser off, you evil sons of bitches. Fucker, you want to fight me? You want to fight me, you fucking fat motherfucker? I don't know what the Canadian president did to Tony, but he is fucking pissed. Tony wants to see all of them in court. Not just the Canadian president, the all Canadian the American president. presidents, too. <laughs> because in Tony's mind, the second he steps into a courtroom, the judge is going to be like, oh shit, it's Tony. You guys are getting sentenced to death. Like, oh my god, it's he's just he's that important around these parts. Um, I don't know where he gets all this. I know, like I said, people may know like what is wrong with Tony or where he actually comes from, but if you were to ask him, Schizophrenia. Well, he'd just tell you that he's basically <laughs> the he owner of everything in this country, the government, all, all everything from the top on down. Now, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to let Tony tell you that because his sworn enemy, the Satellite Man, actually got in touch with him and told him, Ha ha, Tony, I outrank you. You want to <laughs> Do you want to guess how Tony reacted to that one? Again, no reason for <laughs> me to tell you it. Let me just show you it. That Satellite Man just communicated. He said... He said he dared me to claim that I outranked him or something. Do you own Smith & Wesson or do I? Do you own Winchester <laughs> or do I? Do I own the NRA or do you? Do I own military installations, weapons corporations in this country or do you? Do I own air fighter, jet Does it really have manufacturing, to be posed as a question? and commercial jet <laughs> manufacturing? No. Do I own car country, car do company? I? <laughs> it's like, do I or do I not do all of these? Somebody tell me. I'm just asking. I'm just sound angry because I don't no, know. I'm I've been trying to figure this out. So I do own so many I'm things. Confused. I'm not sure which I still own. <laughs> my question. Yeah. He said, why are these people so fucking delusional? Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to ask about something with Jewishness. <laughs> what the? No. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, do dreidel, you dreidel, dreidel. Or do I do you? Do I do this? Yo, I have, I believe I have the key for lower cow. Do you want to hear it? Sure. It's called getting laid. Because once that, you get that, laid. That doesn't help. That doesn't cure it. That just prolongs the fucking, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, look at, look at Rich. He he did it, and now he's bond a child and blinded them. Yeah. <laughs> look at Rikita. He forgot to feed his. <laughs> yeah, that's true. In fact, if, I think Long Cow should not have children. Yeah. No, no, I never said children. No, no, no. I never You're... said children. I just said for them to do a pump and dump. What? Like just Christian. <laughs> oh, I hate y'all. I really fucking but No, it's better never... to stick them in a room, isolate them like they're an SCP. <laughs> oh my god. God the key. Manufacturing in America? Do I own farms in America? Do I own gas stations? Do I own 165,000 gas stations around the fucking world? Or is it you? I don't know. Are you Saudi? Or, is I, or am I the owner? <laughs> is or, it you or me? I just want to know. <laughs> you have a metal plate in your fucking head, my guy. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, boy. You guys have not seen this glorious smile yet.
<laughs> do I own John Deere tractor or do you? Do I own Freightliner or International or Peterbilt or do you? Do I own Mack truck? What companies do you think I own? Do I own General Motors or do I own Lamborghini, Ferrari, Chevrolet? What do you own, motherfucker? Do you own, do I own a bathroom? Lamborghini doesn't you even own a Lamborghini. They're a Volkswagen. <laughs> you look like yeah, you Lamborghini's guy. owned by Volkswagen. <laughs> Volkswagen owns most of this stuff. <laughs> own Lamborghini? Do I own Mercedes? Do I own BMW? What do you oh. fucking own? Do I own the White House? Or do you claim you thought you owned the White House? You better go into court, you motherfucker. Why do you think they call me the son of Uncle Sam? Because it was my family that loaned money to the American government. You fucking... F you better go into court, You're... you motherfucker. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Hold on, let, let, let me get this straight. He thinks he owns all this because his family loaned money to the, the government. American government, to the Treasury. Yep. Okay, I have to ask, did they buy war bonds for World War II? <laughs> you know, that, that's not even confirmed if they actually did loan the government money. <laughs> well, no, no but like, seriously, Gigi's, buying Gigi's a war bond. Idea tracks here. <laughs> Yeah, but he could just be totally schizophrenic and think mommy and daddy did it when they like you know had like a investment portfolio at the bank. Yeah, but at Fort Knox, <laughs> like that's their bank. That that's their branch division. <laughs> it's really way, uh, seriously it like he his family would have had to have like given like bought war bonds during World War II for any of that shit to be true. <laughs> And Volkswagen still doesn't apply. Wrong team. Wrong team. <laughs> well, technically, technically, that kind of does because of Opal and Chevrolet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And don't look, forget look, Henry Ford. Yeah. Look, I want to play double advocate here, gentlemen. Let's just say his family did loan money to the government. If that's the case, why did he look like he lives in a trailer park? Yeah, it's because like, of the satellite man. Well, yeah, they, they kidnapped him. <laughs> it's just like you, the family has their, their, their toes and fingers and everything, right? They're but yeah. all the government. Then why do you look like you're homeless? Why do you look like you you smell like shit? I'm just saying. <laughs> the, government, the government does what it does best. It borrowed the money and never paid it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this guy's like out there every time they have to like raise the debt signal. He's like, no, you don't. <laughs> you owe me money. The interest on my family's money alone. <laughs> <laughs> if you own a John Deere tractor, if you own a gun, if you own, uh, if you're one of the few who owns a Lamborghini, you know, every now and again, you got to sit back and say, thank you, Tony Chase, for allowing me to, allowing me to enjoy these things. Because Tony, Tony owns it all. His family owns it all. And it's all been stolen from him. And as you can see, he's not taking that very well. Tony will sit here and scream and shout until his voice gives out about how these government people, the satellite men, basically anyone in government who's stolen from his family wealth needs to be put into put into the court systems right now and get prosecuted. Well, look, it I'm sorry like to break this to you, Tony, but, you know, slaves and Indians come before you, bro. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> They had no capital investment, though, GG. <laughs> well, you're talking about the land swindling was the capital investment. <laughs> oh, God, I was going to say something. Do you uh, own the Choctaw Reservoir? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't in the contract. You should have read it over before. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, he sounds like a New York Jew. <laughs> he doesn't know what, what no, exactly this is like, the, no, wait, the courts... This is like Cousin Kyle growing up and gone crazy. <laughs> oh, hi, Sheila. I'm back. 
thinks he can waltz up in there and say, hey, these people guilty. It's kind of like a lot like what Chris Chan does in Quickville. But in Tony's mind, his Quickville is just the entire United States. I scratch to that. It's actually the entire world because, you know, he was just going at the Canadian president, too. Maybe it's only North America, but I, I think it's the world for Tony's case. I mean, the dude's just that powerful. But obviously, I'd be remiss if I wasn't to mention that this <laughs> well, dude clearly <laughs> has a lot of mental health issues. If he's making these videos constantly screaming about the same stuff, you know, I've only been showing you these, like, more popular ones where Tony's really going off, but... As we'll look into now, there's tons of topics Tony just makes videos on all day long. Most of them involving the government. Matter of fact, about 99% of them uh, involving the government. But the other the other 1% is, uh, is about his penis size, which, as we previously mentioned, is something <laughs> of legend. Because Tony will say, and he'll, he'll claim a lot here, that one of the things that people, men in particular, men in the government, the reason they feel threatened by him is because of his, uh, him and his family's, uh, their, their genetic, um, their genetic luck, I guess, because they hit the jackpot. And that's another thing people are trying to steal from Tony, is his, uh, is his family's, his family's length, I guess is the best way to put it. You're doing this is going to be kind of a short video, so I gotta, gotta talk fast so it gets on there you know so you know in reference to people you know people that know me people have known me you know i've walked down the runway totally nude and they saw my penis naturally you know and it hangs to the floor you know naturally this isn't about having a big dick contest shit of nothing you know this is about my real anatomy protection of my identity these people are trying to steal billions of dollars of my money and you know these people that are cock snatchers or whatever they try to steal dick they try to steal the the tissue of the penis, and then they try to stuff it underneath their skin. That's attempted murder in reference to people. Jesus Christ. I haven't watched some of this, so I forgot about the dick fairy conspiracy here. The dick fairy? <laughs> yeah, you take a little bit out of him, and you stuff it under your dick, and your dick will magically grow. <laughs> It's basically the dick fairy. <laughs> Dude fairy just works on currency, okay? People stealing dicks, people stealing cock, people stealing penises. You people could end up in prison for the rest of your life. Anyways, back to the point. Reference to any females, celebrities, or people that have known me since I was a little boy, or people that have seen my penis at a, you know, extended, uh, you know, not tucked or shrank or whatever. You know, these people tried to steal my blood. They tried to steal my identity all these years, these bad government people. But, you know, in reference to people, they can go on YouTube and do anonymous reports. I mean, there's probably going to be somebody trying to make jokes. But this is, you know, the jokes about me having a big penis and people making jokes about it doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Depends on what they say, whether they can get sued or not. You know, don't be trying to cut it short either. <clears throat> You know, I'm not allowed to shrink my dick. I'm not allowed to shrink or not allowed to sell any of it. Can't give none of it away. Not never. My royal penis is my penis. My mother and my father's genetics. My genetics have came from my mother and father. But in reference to anybody trying to steal any of my penis, they can get prosecuted. They can end up in prison for the rest of their lives. So in reference to uh, people can go on YouTube, make a little video. Wait a minute. Anonymously. Wait a minute. Back that video up just a tiny frame until you can see the star on his necklace. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> I called it. I fucking called it. <laughs> uh, we got a pretty good shot there. <laughs> stars <laughs> he is of the chosen land <laughs> now he's of the chosen penis apparently too Did, wait till you hear how he big he says it is so in reference to uh yeah there's multiple points there's multiple points confirmed <laughs> lift your head up lift it up right you hand. glorious bastard right, right there you can see the kick out <laughs> yeah, that ain't no sheriff's badge. No. <laughs> and on that day, Adolf Hitler grew a little sadder. 
Yeah, we're good for Hitler, aren't we? <laughs> we're, having well, like, we're already there. <laughs> like we've been there. Like... But there, you you can see the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> that uh... looks like it has a pretty big penis too. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think the sixth point is for, then? <laughs> Why did you become Amish? <laughs> you became Amish there at the end. I was laughing. I was trying to go, what do you, what do you think it's six-pointed there? <laughs> Now, Josiah. <laughs> oh my God! I can't, it doesn't even sound like you. <laughs> Why, Why is she like me? <laughs> <laughs> to make a little video. <laughs> Anonymously, you know, they can even have like the black silhouette of a person or whatever. You can see the where you can't see the full star. Nobody's moving his hand around. Oh my god. See their face, but then they can make a statement on YouTube how big they've seen my penis. It's got to be known so nobody tries to steal my wealth or tries to steal my identity. These. Dumb, oh, they don't put your penis link on your driver's are. license. Can you imagine <laughs> that, like, sir, and put your penis on the same pad? Rather than fingerprints, they just take the size of his junk. <laughs> like, right. was, like, here's the thing. Even if it was, like, 30 inches long, it's like an extra leg, literally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, just wait. Just wait. Well, freaks trying to steal my penis, you know, they can get prosecuted and they can go to prison for life. But you know, you reference to penis. my penis. What are you, you know, people now? go on YouTube and make you know a video. My penis is over forty-one like plus inches. Like, crazy like, like, is your penis detachable that I can just walk up and God feel it? God damn it! I had like... that fucking song stuck in my head the minute he talked about it. <laughs> Seriously, there's a story about these crazy, oh, well, like this shit. crazy cult of women who claim to have the penis of Rasputin, yeah, pickled and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I've heard about that too, but I've had detachable penis stuck in my head the entire time we've been <laughs> talking about he's been talking about this and I've just been playing it on my mind. Detachable uh, gra- penis. Yeah, it's not Grand Theft Auto, it's Grand Theft Penile. <laughs> you guys know the song I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> I woke up one morning and my penis was gone. <laughs> I looked all over my room. <laughs> Did you check the dryer? <laughs> or the blender? Or the garbage oh disposal? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, they can sew it back on. Plus. And some people have seen it. Some people have it on document. But, you know, in reference to people, this is not about, you know, being, it's not a cock fight. This is about my real penis, you know. Well, it looks like I'm one of these people who's going to get prosecuted because at the beginning of this video, I told y'all 30 plus inches. And while that may be, uh, that may still be correct because it's 30 plus, I was cutting it short by not saying 40, 40 41 fucking yeah, it's, inches, it's 41 fucking inches is long. the size t- of a toddler. <laughs> It's so like long enough just... to go on some amusement rides. <laughs> like you, you just like you, it's like you shoved a three-year-old down your pants. Like, don't tell Rich. No, I was gonna say it'd make Rich excited. <laughs> well, it's fun, Rich. He's like just burst through the door. Where? <laughs> don't worry. This one's you also got some... one eye. <laughs> <laughs> And you can't give away none of it. People are trying to use it to, I guess, make their own penises bigger. Um, just a whole bunch of turmoil that Tony Ow. goes through in his life. Like, it's got to be rough. You imagine that. You're like, you're, you're the child of these trillionaires. You get everything taken from you. And not only that, they want to take your, your God-given, like, 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 your manhood away, too. And that's what they've taken from Tony. The constant here, though, is that all of these people need to be put in jail. If you're one of these people who cuts it short, you know, Tony can sue you. It's that simple for slander. Like, don't be, don't be, don't be cutting it short. Don't be slandering Tony. Like, this is a huge deal. 
Um, I don't know why he's so fixated on this. He mentions this in a lot of videos Wait, about man, how, how like, long he's did just... he say it was? 40, 41. Like... 41, 41, yeah. I yeah. thought he said 44. I can back up. Because I'd have like an explanation for that. And he's like, he's got double vision. He saw four <laughs> inches and said, 44. <laughs> constant here though is that all of these people need to be put in jail if you're one of these people who cuts it short you know tony can sue you it's that simple for slander like don't be don't be don't be cutting it short don't be slandering tony like this is a huge deal um i don't wait know minute, why wait a minute. He's... i just thought of something here yeah this kind of lines up with like the fucking new york jew shit but his last <laughs> name is chase so does he think he's part of the chase bank family fortune <laughs> Oh, man. He's so fixated on this. He mentions this in a lot of videos about how, like, he's just extremely well endowed to the point where a doctor would probably tell him that you really need to get this shit checked out. That is not normal. My assumption is that after all these years of just living by himself, he says 22 years in Indiana um, ever since he got kidnapped from his parents' mansion. Now, I don't know what he did before that. Like I said, I would love to see if anyone could find, uh, like, Tony Chase in the 80s, as he claims. Tony Chase claims he was walking the Lindbergh baby. <laughs> <laughs> Runways uh, nude and tons they, of people. They probably... kidnapped me from my parents' mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? It was the guy with the big thumb. <laughs> that goddamn satellite man. <laughs> <laughs> seen it Max had the room. Room. Yeah, this is, <laughs> he's choking my cat it was that fucking max headroom like jeez <laughs> <laughs> there i was just sitting there playing with my dreidel <laughs> <laughs> how am i you gold <laughs> God damn, Jim. <laughs> what? You all were thinking it. You all were thinking it. Just let me say it out loud. Fucking in that one bit from uh, fucking South Park where the, the town's flooded and Carmen's demanding child hand over the two gold strapped around his neck. <laughs> people to make anonymous youtube videos talking about how they have seen it to further you know prove this to himself and other people because he needs the proof out there you know um i like i said i don't know where he gets all this i assume it's just his his delusions <laughs> but it also could just be tony's fascination with penis sizes because even though it says i'm being not serious gay, not guys never, a lot of this it's stuff in the guinness book of world records <laughs> he says and the amount he talks about penises really makes me uh really makes me think otherwise there was a video he dropped just the other day talking about how like the statues and all that in like greece years ago and how the sizes of their anatomy on that statue are not accurate tony goes into talking about how like well they 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 paid more attention to shoulder structure and all this other stuff which could be true honestly but at the same time it's just a weird thing for him to make like a seven minute video sitting here talking about the logistics of the sizes of cocks on a statue how are you guys doing this is very important in reference to greek history well, i mean italian it, history. to be fair there <laughs> smoky it takes a lot of pricks to make a statue. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a triple entendre. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's like the first one. Because <laughs> it's usually just a double, not a triple. Yeah. <laughs> French history and in reference to penis sizes of the statues and the physiques of uh, you know, artistry and I don't know. Uh, structure. The point of why they John have smaller Dottie looking is. penises on the statues <laughs> is not for... <laughs> I've now got a head spiracy where <laughs> he has he has Nixon Nixonati 
locked up in his basement <laughs> with his mother <laughs> and what lets him out thought... once in a while. <laughs> what if he thought Nick Sinati was the satellite man? <laughs> I'm in your house, Jonathan. Or I Tony. just want to talk to a girl. <laughs> like, I can try their satellite man. And he just holds the mask on the wall as like a sign of victory. Yes. It's like, it turns out that he was isn't the real satellite man, but just a satellite man? Uh, oh my god. Any uh, downgrading or any upgrading of any person with a small penis or any person with a large penis. The reason why the statues had smaller looking penises is not because they factually had smaller penises. A lot of them had really big penises. So in reference to the history of why a lot of artistry or statues have, you know, smaller looking genital in certain aspects. I swear of, to God, I, this kind of reminds me of like, if like a history correctly animated or whatever, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? The ones where they did like the Pocahontas yeah. episode. Is, yep. <laughs> <laughs> they did one where they have Hercules. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing the whole penis size shit. It's like, it's like yours is big and grotesque, while mine is small. <laughs> <laughs> it's statuesque. <laughs> I think that's exactly what he said. Is well, what I've been thinking about here, isn't it? Uh, oh God, it's post Renaissance that they wasn't it like one of the popes or something. Basically, they ended up taking the genitalia off of a lot of statues. So like. His whole fucking logic here is skewed because you don't even know. Most of them got thrown in the garbage, which is why there's those little fucking oak leaves on a lot of them. Yep. <clears throat> I, I want to say it was it was something to do with one of the popes. Um, it could have been. Um, it's just I can't remember really. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> but I've heard that before. Yeah, but no, I... they they actually like a lot of those. Uh, the leaves were added, like post, like well post the statue being placed. And it was something with, yeah, I want to say it was one of the popes. And I, I want to say yeah, that like, kind of explains the joke from like the SpongeBob episode where the Squidward's doing like the whole art school shit. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to look this up and not be on a list. <laughs> so, <laughs> statues of their penises. <laughs> Times where I look usually Google stuff, but it's like I'm not looking up statue genitals. Uh, Popeyes. I thought it was Pope Pius, because I, I was thinking it's like Pope Pius the second. I'm like, nah, <laughs> that's way yeah. too early. Yeah, no, Pope Pius the ninth. Yeah, I before the X is a nine. Yep. After it's eleven. Oh man, yeah, fig leaves. That's what it was. Fig leaves. Yeah, fig leaves. But yeah, there you go. You learned something. <laughs> <laughs> and yes i had a very safe search pope removed genitalia statues okay because <laughs> god knows what would happen if i put in pope cast reading statues points of information <laughs> is because men and women focused more on shoulders arms legs uh, physical attributes of activities. You know, in reference to men gel genitalia and the statues is, you know, plus women used to try to steal the penises off of statues or something for their own personal uh, emotions or something. I don't know. What the fuck is he even talking personal about? Personal emotions? What? It, it was for self-pleasure. That's where I believe Pope Pius was thinking about it. It was it was corrupting the minds of women, and then in some cases they were supposedly stealing the the basically stone dildos off of the statues <laughs> for self pleasure. Damn! <laughs> like I mean, number one, getting it off the statue. Number two, <laughs> it won't be the same shape, so you better off just sticking a rock up there to get your rocks off. You know, maybe that's where the phrase was born from, get your rocks off. <laughs> Pope <laughs> is the knight <laughs> removing penises off of statues. 
Hindi na naman ay patro yun. Feel like you're smearing the kid. You're just rocked off. Oh, man. Or, I mean, I know you could have said that with any Tony video we've watched, but this one, just, well, why did this have to be a video topic? I mean, there's like 5,000 other ones, obviously. <laughs> he's uh, he's he's talking about quite a lot, most of it, as we've already mentioned, including the government. Um, but it's just, it, it makes me realize how many times the word penis has been used in this video. Um, so we're going to try to, we're going to try to nip that in the bud right now. But when you're talking about Tony, it's something that can't go untalked about, you know. Not the right man just trips over it as he's walking down the street. <laughs> you heard him how it naturally had Now stay still. It's just a little off the tip. <laughs> I, know, I don't like how um, Smokey is circumcising his content here. <laughs> Well, he's circumcising it because of the circumstances. Uh, Hangs to the floor. The fuck is he talking about? But from one body part to another, we previously mentioned the, the horrific nature of Tony's teeth. And he's going to get to talking about it a little bit here. Yeah, and this even is showing pretty bad. Them. I'm not going to lie. And in my more recent videos, I've been like giving these warnings, and this is definitely time for one of them, that if you don't like seeing someone with, like, maybe <laughs> the the worst-looking teeth you've ever seen, it looks like just crevices up in them sons of bitches, it's, it's, it's not a good look. Wait till you see um, the I'm going to turn away now, because as soon as uh, you hear Tony talking... You... All right, I'm going to give additional warning, because Smokey's not lying here. <laughs> <laughs> like this you is look not like <laughs> this is not built up <laughs> you're now no you're gonna know why he sounds so goyim <laughs> in a second so goyim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. i said goyim <laughs> 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 well, since we're talking about statues, this gargoyle. That's gargoyum, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. You're going to see his teeth first and foremost, and it's not pretty. It's really not pretty. I don't know what the fuck he's done if he just doesn't take care of his teeth, but he claims that's the lasers of the satellite man. Now, if that's true... <laughs> The satellite man is doing a fucking number on Tony's teeth because they look, they look horrifying. It's not even like, it's, I'm not even trying to put Tony down here. It's just, oof. You see this, it's kind of like watching Only Use Me Blade drink. It makes you go, man, I don't, I shouldn't drink. No, this is like watching Only Use Me Blade's leg, like, day and night for a week. It rots away. Yeah, it's 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 bad. Like it's genuinely bad, and I'm like like trying to make fun of the guy for this. Like it's just it's genuinely bad. And I guarantee you, after you see Tony's teeth in a few seconds here, you're gonna be running into the bathroom to brush your teeth. So that's my warning. And here we go. What they did to my teeth. The satellite man and his toxic fucking games of invading my life. Now I've already told you to provide all your information. This man thinks it's funny. You think that's gingivitis? Those are electric burns on bone. We need a politician to say what they think that is. We need the politician I'll to say which person is. done it. <laughs> I think you've been eating a bunch of fucking rocks. <laughs> have you been have you been like de penising any kind of statues? Have you lately, been in a sir? statue park lately? <laughs> Look, he consented, I swear, officer. <laughs> like, because seriously, every... like, <laughs> I had a cousin <laughs> who would, like, uh, like try to prove how tough he is, and he would bite into, like, an aluminum can to puncture it. Oh, God. <laughs> and that fucked his teeth up one time, and I could see it. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Governor and mayor must know which satellite controllers and which government people damaged my teeth. You trying to play shark teeth, motherfucker? What race are you? You have to die for your Thank crimes. You. I am not your race and I am not your religion and I did not invite you into my life. And the man that claimed that he thought I threatened the president must get executed. And the president that was going <laughs> along with it, that stole billions of dollars from my mother, that motherfucker has to get put on trial. You are a fucking liar and you should die for your crimes. You have tried to murder me by fabricating against me. I didn't even know it was you. I didn't even know who you people are. You. I didn't even know which people was doing it. But every black man or every white man 
or any other color in between that ever accused me of anything. That tried to rape me, that stole any of my sperm, that stole any babies, that stole any teeth, or damaged my teeth. <laughs> you have to get charged for trespassing into my life. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't like you. I won't like you. Stolen? And there's restraining <laughs> orders against you and your crimes of satellites. You can be executed on site for wait, what wait, you wait, have wait, done. Wait, wait, wait. You I, are I, remotely. I gotta, I gotta ask. What does he think? Like, how does the satellite man steal his sperm? <laughs> like nocturnal emissions, or like you know him, the satellite man controlling his hand while it goes up and down. Like, <laughs> like tell me, because <laughs> this is because <laughs> I highly doubt the satellite man has some kind of <laughs> semen extractor to fuck of any kind. <laughs> with a 41 inch dick it's going to take a lot of tubing <laughs> I just see this guy like bringing in pool hose <laughs> I mean, and a hell, hand vacuum some garden... <laughs> <laughs> it just brings in the garden hose oh man <laughs> attacking me you are remotely doing things to me you have done this to my real body parts and you are a person that wears dentures and you did this to my real teeth or you have dentistry on your teeth you must die for your crimes you are not legal americans you are illegal citizens that faked your position in america and you got illegal citizenship from germans that allowed you into this country this country is not germany you should have been in Germany. Oh, it's the Germans. What? Of course it is. Why did we think of this to begin with? It's so... Hold up, hold up, hold up. That makes like the Max Headroom thing almost canon. <laughs> and it makes like the Jewish shit like even more accurate. <laughs> this is not Germany. <laughs> Christ, this guy. Fucking Nazis! They're the ones doing this to Tony's teeth. Everyone's got to be. Everyone's got to be turned in. Everyone's got to be charged. I mean, he is it's Jewish. What did you expect? <laughs> like, hey, we're gonna go silently into the good into the night <laughs> until oh, they fuck God. with Tony's teeth. Boy, you know, these people are the ones doing this all to Tony. You can't be blamed for any of this. You can't be blamed for living in this little crack shack in, uh, in Indiana somewhere. He deserves to be back wherever he was living before in, like, the biggest mansion of all time. Probably just waiting for his dad, Walt Disney, to be unthawed. Um, there's really, there's a lot to talk about with Tony because, I mean, like, there's, there's thousands of videos of him out there. And, you know, one thing that I remember hearing, and it's something that I can't find the video of because, like I said, thousands of them. It's very tough. Um, but it was a, it was a time when he was talking to his Alexa. Like, um, hey, Alexa, can you jot this down? And he was doing kind of just like what you see him do here. And he's like, Alexa, jot down this note. And he just goes on about, so here's, here's the thing. It's really important that the government gets tr put on trial for all the stuff that they do to my teeth, yada, yada, yada. And the Alexa responds to him and goes, all right, note number 3,700 so-and-so <laughs> jotted down. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, he must sit here all day Wait, long just talking about this same this nonsense. all on Alexa? <laughs> I wonder why he keeps getting visited by the fucking Secret Service. <laughs> The NSA is tapping this fucking shit. The real satellite man. He just can't figure it out. I they don't keep talking with me. It. I don't know how they keep figuring out my plan. It's only you and I there, Alexa. <laughs> it's like... It's oh. like an episode of Hogan's Heroes <laughs> where they've yeah, got a bug in Clink's office <laughs> and they're listening to him and Burkhalter like telling their plans out loud. <laughs> You know, oh it's, it's it's got to be a rough life, and he don't even he don't even seem like he knows where he's at half the time. And so I just want to say, don't don't go after Tony. Don't go picking on Tony. He's he's already been picked on by the government enough. He needs to, if anything, you got to go support him in his fight with uh with that damn old government man. 
um, is doing a number on Tony, Tony's teeth, Tony's cat, Tony's living situation, Tony's bank account, almost tiger. everything, oh, wait, everything in Tony's life is being <laughs> taken by the government. And you know what? At the end of the day, Tony might not be too crazy because I'm pretty sure the government's fucking with a lot of people. <laughs> but are they fucking with Tony to the level that he thinks they are? Probably not. Probably not. But who knows? Oh, One he's of the, getting well, visited by the what? Secret what? Service. It's his own damn fault for <laughs> using Alexa. <laughs> Well, I mean, does any does everyone have a satellite man, or is he just like special enough no, to be given no, a satellite man? Alexa, Alexa is the satellite man or woman in this case, and it's just going to the fucking NSA because he's making terroristic threats to the government. This is just <laughs> I was not prepared for this one. The silence is deafening right now. That's Jim. Satellite man got me. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, satellite man <laughs> got him. Oh, man. You know, here, here's the thing. I, I think I might have figured out like who stole him from his dad, Walt Disney, Daddy Disney. It was Time Warner. <laughs> Isn't it? Don't you find it ironic that Walt Disney, a notorious anti-Semite, and his son now... I mean, he's not even a notorious the... anti-Semite, bro. <laughs> like, seriously, that was like fucking communists that were picketing outside of his animation office during, like, the, the fucking, um, what is it, House on American Activities days. True. Either I just find the uh, necklace funny, given who his father is. I just... <laughs> I just... I, I like I was I, guessing I, at that. It's like I see this fucking necklace, and I'm like, wait a minute. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I was convinced, like he had to have some kind of fucking accent. I just I cannot get the we was Kang's Jewish Goyim edition <laughs> out of my head right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, I need to. It hurts to laugh this hard, but oh my god, did I need this after the rich shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right. It's gonna happen if one day we find out that this guy was right the whole time. We're all gonna look stupid. We're all gonna look real fucking stupid. <laughs> so that was basically where I ended. Like, I have I've probably like a hundred other videos I have here that I could put on screen, but I think you've already seen enough. Um, I, I did notice one other thing, though, before I got done making this video, and that's that Tony not only has a YouTube channel with over 4,000 posts, but he also has an Instagram account with over 9,000 posts. So I thought we'd go oh ahead boy. and read some of them here, like, prosecute people for claiming they had more seniority than me and my family history in Hollywood and media. Tony thinks that he was like a big celebrity back in the day, also a big athlete back in the day, and ESPN and all these other people have really suppressed oh all that God. information and don't let Tony get the uh, credit he deserves. All of these posts, by the way, are mostly accompanied by Tony's uh, headshot here. It's the picture he uses in most situations. Um, I don't know when this was taken, but clearly uh, the years have done a number on him, and this was probably only three years ago, maybe three or four. So who knows? But let's keep well, on reading. Prosecute the wonder, government and up. racist. I wonder how fucking he reacted to, like, you know, Steamboat Willie getting put on public domain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's like, no, oh, my family owns that. <laughs> It kind of oh, makes me want to like send him like the Steamboat Willie meme where he's got the air bubble. It's like, oh, we fucked with your teeth. Oh. Oh, he mouse again. He's, he's taken. He's taken my father's creation. You're garbling. Yeah. You're garbling, man. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're being taken out by Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Oh, Jim, you're fucking with your feet. <laughs> I just went through and edited that fucking cupcake shit, too. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. For torturing me and claiming that they owned all American media. Find out what race and religion they are and arrest them. 
The royal protocol is my identity, not theirs. So see again with that royal shit. Like, Tony believes he is above everybody. Doesn't matter where you are in this country or who you are, Tony is above you. Now, I don't know what he, why he's always chirping about how, you know, you need to find their religion and find their ethnicity. It's probably just because he's going after Germans again. And yes, this picture is also accompanied by Tony's I can't headshot. Blame him. He's Jewish. <laughs> wink, wink. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> Jim. Oh nope. You're still garbled. I was like, is Jim alive yet? Nope. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a, it's a surround this whole German fucking Nazi Jewish conspiracy thing here. It's like we should <laughs> Jim should change his name from Jim Jones to Jim Goebbels now. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Garbles, because he can't hear him. <laughs> can you hear me okay? Yes, now we can. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, I'm sitting here, and like my mic is beeping at me, and I have it plugged in, and it's not like... It's literally not picking me up. I think, I think the satellite man is getting to my communications. <laughs> Well, I guess he's no longer Jim Goebbels anymore. <laughs> Sorry there, uh, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's your time to die. <laughs> it's like, he's just sitting there. It's like, satellite man, you have twisted my father's creations against me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, shouldn't, like... uh, you shouldn't have fucked with that, uh, 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 that satellite man there, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how it's like fucking Mickey Mouse and his dad's Walt Disney and it just ties in so well. I guess this is what he hands out to people when he's trying to get new roles in Hollywood, but those damn government people won't let him do it. Next one's a little bit more crazy than the others, and I'm probably going to have to censor myself here a lot because, you, you know, we've said a lot of words in this video, but there's some in particular that YouTube just hates. <laughs> I'm not racist. I had <laughs> well, if there are, I'm gonna find out after this stream. <laughs> black girlfriends and other races of girlfriends, and these people called me a racist, and they must get prosecuted. And the activities of call a person a racist is not a legal warrant to torture and or to a person or to steal their sperm or blood or penis size because it's bigger than theirs holy fuck <laughs> like, what does what does that even mean like, I, I don't I, at first he was just like yo i'm not racist and at the end he's like yo like but these real racists are trying to steal my bird like it's there's so much going on in tony's daily life like i you, you gotta <laughs> feel for the guy this is this is a tumultuous tumultuous time for the man and that's where we'll leave off with Tony today. You can always talk about new stuff with the guy because he's constantly posting videos over on his channel. Tony Chase, no, not gay, not never. Um, you know, he, he's a pretty interesting guy, and I hope you guys got a chuckle out of all of Tony's rants today because I know why. Oh, we got more than that there. So smoky. <laughs> yeah. Boy, if you knew. <laughs> don't go after Tony. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's just got to fight his fight alone. You know, he don't need oh. more people going after him. But, but... You know, I, I have heard that there are some government people out there looking to looking to go after Tony. I've maybe have found the identities of the satellite men or satellite men, should I say? There's a lot of them. So I'm just gonna say them now, so 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 all the air is cleared, and those people are Vanessa, Skelly, Schisms, Churlish, Adrian, Lara. I don't know if he is. A little mustard, Ignatius, Spaghetti Joe. Yeah, I like how he's that. reading his yeah. Patreon. Yeah. Out of <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he. Does he say anything else? Nope. I doubt it. He yeah. usually just reads them off and then closes out. Oh, man. I, I got to show you guys uh, one other one with him. <laughs> uh, Nick's, Nick's thing starts off pretty fucking good. That's why. And this oh, is the like, White House! Tony Chase, who... This is... Not now. Go away. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Insane people online are a dime a dozen, but there are a few individuals that are as crazy as the man on screen right now, Tony Chase. Laser burns. Laser burns. And my dentist needs to go on television and state the facts that those are laser burns on the teeth. Do I own farms in America?
Do I own gas stations? Do I own 165,000 gas stations around the fucking world? You better leave my cat alone. I am not fucking around with you, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Hello, governors and mayors. Are you advocating this satellite man and his fucking terrorism? Do I own that truck? What companies <laughs> do you think I own? Do I own General Motors? Or do I own Lamborghini, Ferrari, Chevrolet? Well, this is another thing of importance. That satellite man's still burning my tailbone. And my tailbone has been x-rayed. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> the fucking family guy. <laughs> it came true. And document well, sure. every Would part you of like my anatomy. Would you like with a laser beam to scratch your ass from outer space? <laughs> And my but tailbone has been x-rayed and documented. Every part of my anatomy has been documented and x-rayed. <laughs> what do you fucking own? Do I own the White House? Or do you claim you thought you owned the White House? Tony Chase, who is not gay, <laughs> not never, despite having... <laughs> not gay, not never. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm not going to, like, tramps too much on fucking Nick's video because it's, like, brand new. Like, four days ago. <laughs> but if you want want more, like, this is updated from Smokey's video. Go check it out. Because <laughs> Smokey's video, oh, God, was About a, ever born a year ago. Days. Oh, a year ago. Yeah. So <laughs> there, there's a bit of updating, and there's going to be new shit in Nick's video. So... It's worth it. It's much shorter. It's like fucking own the White House. 20 minutes. So yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there because everything else I've got is super long and we'll be here till Wait, fucking 